said we are live. Okay. Welcome, everyone. Good morning. This is our Fasting Negative Words with Partners in Prayer. Today is day 30, and we are doing 40 days of speaking life and fasting any negative words. And so today, I said it's day 30, and we are going to be um, having a little devotion here today. And, and the title of it is, Would You Pass the Exam? And as I studied this last night, I was pricked in my own heart. Um, it, it, it's such a good word. And so um, I'm going to start out by reading Psalm 17.3. And I'm going to read it in a couple different versions. I like to start out with King James Version, but I like to read uh, scriptures in other versions just to compare it. Sometimes it gives us a better understanding and breaks it down a little bit better. So... I'll start out reading Psalms 17.3 in the King James Version. And it says, Thou hast proved my heart. Thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tried me and shalt find nothing. I am purpose that my mouth shall not transgress. And so I'm going to also read it in the New Living Translation, Psalm 17.3. It says, You have tested my thoughts and examined my heart in the night. You have scrutinized me and found nothing wrong. I am determined. Determined is a huge word. I am determined not to sin in what I say. Determination can carry us a long way. Whenever I see the word determined, I think of my mother. Um, she sings a song about from, from the first time, from the first round, I was determined that no matter how many rounds I have to make with the enemy. I'm going to do right. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep going. And so determination can take us a long way. It can help us not sin if we get determination in our heart. But the key word um, and the desire of this verse that we are going to focus on is the very ending of it where it says, My mouth has not sinned. This verse says that the Lord comes to us to visit us in the night. That's it's very comforting to me to think that our Lord is with us day and night, day and night, always. He's always there. Visit definition means to go see and spend time with someone. So he comes to see us even in our night seasons, even in the night when we're sleeping. The Lord comes to spend time with us and comes to see us and surround us and how comforting that is to me. Why would Jesus, though, come to visit our heart? Because this says he comes to visit our heart in the night. Possibly when we're alone at night in our own home, our true character is revealed. Our inner thoughts have a tendency to be revealed at night when it's quiet. All distractions are removed. All other voices that are around us throughout the, other, throughout the day are calmed. At night, when we're in our homes all by ourselves, that's when our true character comes out. No one knows what we're doing, but God sees all. He knows what we're doing. We can put a front, we can put a show in front of others throughout the day. But during the night, when we're all alone, that's when our true character is revealed. At night, we're not in front of others to impress them. Late at night in our own home, the real me comes out. Is that possibly why this verse says that God comes to visit me in the night? Because he sees the true us during the night. How wonderful to think that the Lord would come to us in the night and find nothing wrong with our heart, like this verse says. As Christians, every word and deed that we do stems from our heart. If our heart is found clean in the night, if when God comes to pass by and, and pay us a visit in the night, how blessed we'll be if we can say that he finds us with a clean heart and nothing wrong in our heart. I believe that that's when our words follow, is when our heart is clean. Our words will be clean. The psalmist says in this verse, You, O Lord, have tried me. You have tested me. How many of you have ever studied to take a test at school or college, maybe a class you're taking? And when you're given the results of the test that you passed, 
and you've studied for that test, and you've studied, and you've read how to answer the questions correctly. And when you're given the results, and it says you passed the test with flying colors, I know I have taken them before, and it's such an awesome feeling when you're like, wow, I did that good on the test, and I passed the test. You feel so relieved, and not only relieved to know that you passed the test, but you actually feel a little bit smarter. Like, that knowledge I was giving, I retained, and I was able to pass the test. God will test us at times. He will send a test our way. He will let things that we go through be a testing of our spirit and of our faith. But he never sends us a test that he doesn't know we're able to handle or that there's a way of escape. He sends us a test because he trusts us enough to go through the test and become better because of it. I was thinking this last week, it's so neat that I know I trust God. I trust him with all my heart. But how wonderful it is to know that our God trusts us too. He trusts us. That he knows that when I give her a test, she's going to be able to pass it. And she's going to have the knowledge of that test when she's done. She's going to have greater wisdom. She's going to have a clean heart. It's going to do some things in her heart and in her words. Psalm 26.2 says, Test me, O Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind. Our words come from our heart. Our words come from our mind. Job 23.10 says, Yet he knows the way I have taken. When he has tested me, I will come forth as gold. If we go through a test, it's because the Lord wants to do something great in us. And he is teaching us to speak better, to speak life. He's teaching our heart to stay clean throughout that test. When everything around us is falling apart, and seemingly we feel sometimes that we just can't get a break from trouble on every side, and we're walking through a night season. Have you ever walked through what seemed to be a night season in your life? I have. And how well do we respond? Do we respond with our heart and our mouth during our night season? Not only during the day when everything is going good or a good season, a happy season, but how well do we respond with our mouth during our night season? Do we keep our heart pure and clean, our words pure and clean? Do we keep our heart and words pure even when we think that we have a good reason to say mean things? Because there will be times that, rightly so, we feel like we have a right to say something bad. But do we hold our tongue? Do we keep our words and our mouth from speaking evil and sinning? Even when the atmosphere gets really dark around us and we can't see the road before us, do we trust God and let him trust us through our test with our whole heart and our mouth? Do we still glorify God even when the road is dark and we can't see him? Ask yourself today, do my words stay balanced in the night season just as they do in the day season? In the night season, the difficult seasons, just as they do in my happy and joyous season? Because you will have both. The Bible says it rains on the just and the unjust. There will come difficult times. But how do I respond to those difficult times? Is my heart and words the same? Whether I'm winning or whether I'm losing, do I let the words of my mouth speak life? Lord, help us to always speak life, whether it's a joyous season we're walking through or a night season. Let him find me in the night season, speaking life just as I would in my day season. If the Lord paid me a visit tonight unexpectedly, would I pass the test? Could I pass the exam, or would he hand me back a paper with an F on it that says you failed? I don't ever want to fail a test that the Lord gives me. If he gives me one, I want to stay positive through it, knowing that he's walking through me, knowing that he's working all things together for my good. Psalms 139, 1 through 4, says, Lord, you have examined my heart. You know everything about me. You know when I sit down and stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel 
and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I am going to say even before I say it, Lord. He knows everything about it. The same God that sees us during the day as we're out amongst others speaking, sees us at night when we're all by ourselves and we don't have to stay positive, but he knows. He knows. Let us each purpose today that we will not transgress or sin with our mouth no matter what. We will let him create within us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us through the testing of our faith so that our words are always at all times positive and that we refrain from speaking negative. Tonight, before our heads hit our pillows, let us repent if there are any words that may have been offensive throughout the day, unclean or unrighteous, even in our nighttime. We have to stay clean in case the Lord comes to visit us and check our hearts. Let us pray throughout the day to be found in the night with a clean mouth, just as we are in our joyous season. Let us pray to have clean words, pure words, even if there are ugly words spoken unto us and all around us. Let us remain grounded in his word, knowing that we're going to pass that exam regardless if everyone around us or failed the exam. Let our words be the light in our dark season because our light will shine through and bring us through that dark season into the night, into the day. Let us pray to speak only positive words. And if we can't speak positive words, to stay silent in case the Lord should come tonight and check my heart. It would be better that I had not said anything at all through the day, then say something negative and not repent of it, and the Lord come to visit me in the night, and I fail the test. I want to pass every exam, every test that the Lord gives me. Let that be our prayer. There's a quote by Roy Bennett, and it says, A smart person knows how to talk. A wise person knows when to be silent. We also need to know when to be silent. So that we can pass the exam. So in conclusion today, I want you to ask yourself, if the Lord passes by my house tonight, if he comes to visit me in my night season, in my struggling, in my times of despair and grief and confusion, when I'm walking through those times, if I'm in the middle of my night season, will I pass the exam? Will I be found worthy of him? Will he come and say, my child, you've passed the test. You have a clean heart. And regardless of your season, you have passed the test. It's very difficult to do at times. I know this. But if we can stay positive, if we can refrain from speaking the negative words and speak life, speak the word. Speak the word of God in your night season because that is going to bring you through. There's power in the word. I encourage you, if you feel you're going through a night season, if you feel that you're walking through a dark place, speak the word anyway. It's not about what you feel. It's about what you know. And when you know the word of God will stand true, it will not fail you. It is sharper than two, than any two-edged sword. It uh, it will bring you through. It will bring you through. It will help you to pass the test. Speak the word. Speak life. Whether it be a good season for you or a difficult season for you. Speak the word. Fast negative words. And you will pass the exam. Repent throughout the day. Repent before you go to sleep at night. Um, Sister Bishop spoke today on the prayer line about making sure that we repent and keep the rocks hidden or, or um, plucked out of our heart. And by keeping our heart clean, that is how we speak positive. If we keep our heart clean, we're going to be found in the night season able to pass the exam if we keep a repentive heart. Lord, if I've said anything, if my mouth has sinned against me, forgive me. Forgive me. Keep my mouth clean from speaking guile. Oh. I thank the Lord today that he has given us the knowledge, that he has given us the promise that he will never leave us 
nor forsake us, and he will walk through us no matter what season it is, and he will help us to pass the exam. So ask yourself today, would I pass the exam? And ask yourself before you go to sleep at night, would I pass the exam? And if not, we need to pray and ask God to cleanse our hearts and cleanse our words. So that concludes what I have for the Fasting Negative Words, Day 30. Tomorrow, join us again at 10 o'clock in the morning for Day 31. So we're on our last 10 days of 40 days of speaking life. You're welcome to join Partners in Prayer tonight at 7 o'clock. The number is 563-999-2833. We will begin having a time of devotion and prayer at 7 o'clock tonight and also at 8 o'clock. So you're welcome to call in. If you have a prayer request, we would love to pray with you. God bless you today. Walk in the Spirit today, knowing that you can pass the exam. God has given you the power to pass the exam. In Jesus' name, God bless you.